Psalm 79, verse 11, very quickly. Psalm 79, verse 11. I want us to read together. It's projected. Everybody, let's read together as loud as we can. One, two, three, go. Let the sign of the prisoner. Media, give me amplified of this scripture. I want me to be very plain. I want people to read it as basic as possible. Everybody, let's read together at the count of three. One, two, three, go. Let the groaning and the sign of prisoner come before you. According to the greatness of your power, keep safe those who are doomed to die. Let the, let the groaning, the sign, sign is a, is a sound of distress, a sound of pain. He said, let it rise before you. He says, through the greatness of your power, this, this will not be by deliberation, it's sovereign authority you will use to keep safe those who have been doomed. You know what it means to be doomed? That no hope again. To be doomed means there is no chance in that case. He says, through the greatness of your power, intervene. When men have said, there is no way this can work again. He says, there are those who are doomed to die. Those who have been reserved. Those who have been given up on. Those that society have written off. Those that have made costly mistakes and thus the consequence of such actions is now the end state of their life. And they are even settled into that captivity. He says, through the greatness of your power, keep safe. I want us to see something before we pray and then take flight. Very quickly, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24. Let's read together. God, God is asking you a question here because there's a question mark. He's asking you a question. Just follow me. One, two, three, go. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Listen. He says, can you collect the captive that a strong man gained lawfully? He calls it lawful captive. You are in captivity by legal reasons. There was something that was transgressed that gave Satan an access in the first place. This one is not the thief because the thief comes illegally but there are captivity that are lawful. And that one when you approach there, spirits will challenge you and say what ground do you have to question my authority over this vessel? It is like witches extending authority over domains and, a, and another witch is coming to talk about a case where another person is involved in it will require authority so if you want to come in this kind of case you will not only come because you are a child of god you will come before justice and equity with clean hands because if they spot anything on you you don't have the right to speak because that captivity was established on lawful ground so he says can the prey of a terrible you know the people they term terrible in the spirit he says can such a prey be delivered can the lawful captive be set free? God is asking us a question here. I don't care whatever mistake Satan did. I don't care whatever thing he drew you into. I don't care whatever steps you have taken that is responsible for anything they are convincing you that it is right for you to be experiencing this. God says there is another dimension of my power. I showed you something about the greatness of his power. There is a place where God does not argue. He just shows up and shows you mercy. There are many legal grounds in the kingdom. So much that spirits come to the courts of the kingdom with strong reasons. And even spirits that are not righteously inclined, they can go back with victory if they present their case well. So in that court, God is there. Righteous angels are there. Satan too can come there. Because in the day when the sons of God are gathered, he says Satan was in their midst. And God had to ask Satan, where are you coming from? Because there is a court where everybody can present his case. There is a court where everybody is giving a fair hearing. 
God is too fair that even Satan has the right to defend himself. <laughs> Let me show you what God responded that question. Please. Media. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. But thus says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for I will contend. How will I deliver you from the hand of the terrible? God says me, I will step into the fight. I will contend with the person who is contending with you. Woe betide anybody who is against God. Your enemy is finished if God is who choose your battle. He says me, I will, I will shift you from the fight. I will contend with him that contend with you. There are mistakes that people make and generations to come innocent notwithstanding will continue to pay for it. And he says what I want to do will also deliver your children. <laughs> ah. I need somebody to cry one prayer this night. It's mercy. The, nothing else. Show me mercy. Son of David, show me mercy. There are too many things. Some of you, you are victims of the actions of generations before you. There are laws. There are patterns. There are all kinds of patterns from our fathers. Many people bow before strange things. And now your life, your life is buffeted by all kinds of resistance. You cry for mercy tonight. It's one. Show me mercy. The Lord says, I will contend with him that contend with you. How can you enter a strong man's house and spoil him of his possession unless you have first bind him unless you have paid him can you go tonight saints of God can you press one more time it's not a time to be quiet this family has been in captivity for too long this family has been in captivity for too long Can the prey of the terrible be delivered? Can the captive of the mighty be set free? He says, I the Lord, I the Lord, I will contend with him that contend with you.